Miami Life de Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality, to my people, the lost and found members of that great Asiatic black nation, who has been prophesied under symbols of many things. Jesus, 2,000 years ago, made many pounds of we, the lost and found members of that great nation, the original people of the planet Earth, who has been asleep to the knowledge of self and the power of self for 6,000 long years. I give you, brothers and sisters, Brother Minister Muhammad Ali. In the holy name of Almighty God, whose proper name is Allah, who appeared to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, we forever thank Allah for coming to the wilderness of North America, searching, finding one to lead, to teach you and I, the so-called Negroes, the truth. For the first time in the past 400 years, I speak none other than our dear beloved leading teacher, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I greet my brothers and sisters in our original language, which is the Arabic language, and which means, may peace be unto you, Isalaam Alaikum. He was sent to you directly from God. The white man don't want you to know who he is. So don't pay, this is the only man in America they don't want to talk to in the White House. This is the only man in America that you don't see out there begging. When you hear black power, it started right here. So Ed, everything that black people are talking today, bring him to me and I'll show you he heard another Muslim or he was once a Muslim or he read the newspaper, but they won't give him the credit. They don't want to follow the real man. How did he bring all of us together? Look at all these beautiful, clean sisters. No powder, no paint, just everywhere. How can he, with a third grade education, style up something? All of these black people here, not one cigarette in your pockets. No alcohol on your breath. No men winking and patting at other women. That's a miracle for so-called Negroes. And now they want to put me in jail because I follow this lovely, sweet man. I tell them they can clean out my cell and take me to jail because I never denounce this man. What is Malcolm X without the love of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? He, he's a gangster. He's a pimp. The world had given up on him. But somebody loved that little Negro. And plucked him out of that prison industrial complex that continues to render so many brothers and sisters captive. Made him believe in himself made him believe that he had potential, a sense of possibility. Yes, put that X on there for the unknown. You're not Malcolm Little, you're Malcolm the Freedom Fighter. All you got to do is step out, do your homework, Malcolm. Be disciplined, Malcolm. Defer gratification, Malcolm. De-gangsterize yourself. I love the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for loving Malcolm Little. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when he was teaching before some of us were born, in fact, he was teaching before I was born, <clears throat> he's no new man in America. He's an old man in America. And uh, if he hadn't been present here teaching for about 42 or 43 years, you wouldn't see America looking like it looks today. The changes have come over America to favor the black man's rise and the black woman's rise into wisdom, knowledge, and understanding 
and into freedom, justice, and equality simply because there has been a man on the scene who never stopped saying black is original. Black is dignified. Black is truth. Black is, black is the best. So if that man hadn't have been here all those years preaching that, when many black people of the church and other walk of life were rejecting that kind of teaching, they were saying that the way to get, to get progress as black people in America, they said as Negroes in America back there in those days, they didn't like to use the term black. They say the way for us to progress is to make peace, keep peace with the white man and to work through his system and to cooperate with him. They thought that was the way to do it. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad kept to his way. He didn't let any of them uh, make him change his mind. He kept to his way. And after a while, those who were preaching, the way to do it is to please the white man and work in his vein of knowledge. They began to say, well, we think we've gone wrong. We think we've been wrong. Maybe we have to look at the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's solution because he's making progress and we are not. He's making a, a black man a man and a black woman a woman and we have failed to do it. He's getting respect from white people and from uh, nations abroad where we have failed to get this respect. So they, they began to take on the language of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They start dropping the term Negro and colored people and they began to use the term black and black man. But now, some of us will say, well, Garvey taught that too. But Garvey, if it wasn't for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, nobody would know Garvey. Because Garvey had died as an organization. The Garvey movement had become so quiet, nobody even, even knew there was a Garvey movement. But it was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that opened the door and started where he left off but really did the job that Garvey wanted to do. Now there is a CD outside of Table Talks. Where is Brother Sultan Rahman? Yes, sir. Where are you, son? Come, come. I, 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 I want them to see you. Where's Abdullah Yassin? Come on, son. Can you get up here? Oh, you can jump. Black men can jump. <laughs> this is the great grandson of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and this is the son of. This is the son of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. His father was our first pilot, Sultan Muhammad, and the beloved grandson of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who passed away in Saudi Arabia. And he bequeathed to his son 600 hours of table talks of Elijah Muhammad instructing his ministers, his laborers, people from this country and that country. And they are gonna make these tapes available. And I, they only wanted to give it to the believers. I said, oh, no, no, no. These table talks are for the world. The history of this remarkable collection is as extraordinary as its contents. Table Talks of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is a collection of recordings that document informal discussions with his house guests capturing questions and answer sessions with his closest officials that reveal a rare glimpse into the personality of the renowned leader and teacher. These home recordings document intimate interactions filled with biographical narratives, social commentary, spiritual guidance, and organizationality of the renowned leader and teacher. These home recordings document intimate interactions filled with biographical narratives, social commentary, spiritual guidance, and organizational direction given by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, leader of the Nation of Islam, largest 
Muslim movement in the history of the Western Hemisphere.